Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through CSS 2D and 3D transform. In this video tutorial, you guys will understand how two-dimensional and three-dimensional transform properties of CSS are used to make a web page look more interactive and attractive to the user. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's start with CSS 2D and 3D transform. If I recall the definition of CSS transforms, so CSS transforms are a set of CSS properties that allows us to change the appearance and layout of HTML elements by applying two-dimensional or three-dimensional transformations like translate, rotate, scale, skew and others. Fine. So CSS transform basically use the transform property to specify transformation that should be applied to an element, an HTML element. So the transform property takes a value that specifies the type of transformation to apply along with other parameters required for that particular transformation. If you haven't checked out the previous part on CSS transform, then I'll highly recommend you two guys to go through it and you guys will understand everything much better. So here we have the code for transform from the previous part where we have used transform rotate 50 degree, transform skew 20 degree for this particular box and rotate 85 degree for this particular box a little below 90 i guess for this box right so this is how we can use the css transform property now in this particular video we are going to discuss css 2d and 3d transformations so before that let's understand what two dimensional and three dimensional shapes and geometry is so when we talk about two dimension if you guys know about graphs there are two kind of axes right one vertical axis and one horizontal axis, the x-axis and the y-axis. We have already mentioned this thing a lot of times in other videos as well. But whenever and something goes along the vertical axis, we say it's going along the y-axis. And if something is going along the horizontal axis or horizontally, we say it's going along the x-axis. Now these two axes are present in two-dimensional figures. For three dimension, these two axes are always there. But there's one additional axis with it, which is the Z axis, which points towards outside, towards us. So it's a 3D dimension. It's not easy to show it how 3D dimension look, but it works along three axes. So for 2D dimensions, or we can say for two dimension figures, we need only two points, the X axis and the Y axis. But for 3D dimensions, we need three axes, or we can say three points, one in the X axis, one in the Y axis, and one in the Z axis or Z axis, whatever you guys say. Fine, so that's the basic difference between 2D and 3D. What's the difference? It's just that 2D has two axes, X and Y, and 3D has three axes, X, Y, and Z. That's it. Now let's understand what 2D axis, or we can say what 2D transformation in CSS are. So we have already discussed 2D transformation in the previous part. So all those properties transform, translate, skew, rotate, every property comes under 2d transformations fine so let me just show you with the help of an example if i write here div classes element fine and right here this is a box save it and then we have dot element over here width is 300 pixels then height is 300 pixels again then we have border which is 3 pixels solid and black in nature or we can say color so it's not visible till now let me just open it again with live server and we'll see this thing is working or not okay the box is not working that's quite strange height and width are fine for the box okay we have used dot element as class so now it's visible right 
and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the transform property so if you guys are using internet explorer or safari the syntax for this transform property is different for safari it's something like webkit dash transform dash webkit dash transform and for what we can say internet explorer it goes like ms transform dash ms which stands for microsoft dash transform and if you are using google chrome then the syntax is pretty much easy which is just write transform and focus on your code so if i am writing here translate and if i am writing here translate along the x-axis and if i write here 50 pixels save it and here you can see the box moved 50 pixels from the left hand side so the translate property is used to move the box from its current position or from its original position towards a particular axis and if I am writing here translate Y and save it here you can see now it moved 50 pixels from it along with the verticals uh, what we can say axis similarly we have rotate as well so if I am writing here rotate and if I am writing here 45 degree save it and here you can see the box is rotated 45 degree fine same we have for skew as well so if I'm writing here skew and we have to write here this and here you can see now it's skewed so it's basically italic in nature in simple words and the last one we have is scale fine for scale we need values 1 2 3 and here you can see this is the value of scale and if I'm writing here 0 0.5 it will reduce the size again to this much and if I'm writing here 10 save it and you guys won't be able to see the box but here's the box which you can see is big enough for 25% of a browser screen fine so 100% here's the box and just keep it to one back and yeah so these are all our 2d transformations basic 2d transformation now 3d transforms can manipulate elements in 3d space by adding a third dimension which is known as depth to the transformation so this allows us to create perspective and depth effects so a basic example if I'll show you and if I write here rotate along the x-axis and rotate how much 50 degree fine here you can see it's not rotating because and if I write here rotate Y here you can see the change it's rotating along the X and Y axis it's not that it's not rotating save it so here's the actual size of the box and if I'm writing here again transform rotate X at an angle of 35 degree see the difference I'm saving it saved it and okay we have to remove this from here save it and here you can see the box is smaller in size now now same goes for y axis as well and same goes for let's say if it goes for z axis or not save it and here you can see for z axis the box is actually rotating so another new axis comes into existence over here so this z-axis we have a small property for this as well if I write here rotate okay just let me just write it completely over here rotate 3d is the property where we have to define x-axis first then we have to define y-axis and then we have to define z-axis it's not working let's write degree over here everywhere and then we'll see okay so let's understand this with the help of translate property for now so if I'm writing here translate 3d and if I'm writing over here 50 pixels and 100 pixels and 0 pixels let's see if it works or not save it and here you can see it's 50 pixels away on the horizontal axis and 100 pixels away on the vertical axis from its original position 0 pixel again from the depth so it doesn't matter if I write something over here if I'm writing 20 over here you can see it's not working for 200 for 2000 it won't work because we are not able to see 3d th things in a PC right 
so that's how we can use the CSS 2D and 3D transform similarly we have uh, what we can say perspective as well so the perspective property sets the distance between the viewer and the object in 3D space creating a perspective kind of thing fine so let's just put it inside this heading and okay I'll write it over here let me just save this program so this is a box and what I'll do is I'll use h1 here and just write perspective which is going to be 1000 pixels let's see if it changes anything so now the distance between you and the box is 1000 pixels but you are still not able to see it because we are not in 3d space fine so this is how we can use the css 2d and 3d transform properties to make a web page look more interactive so if you guys will go through the examples for 3d trans uh, properties in css for 3d transform properties in css you guys will understand it very much better than this because you'll be able to use it on your own and you will understand how css 3d transform is used to create a web page look more attractive and interactive to the user so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about transforms 2d and 3d and if you still have any doubts related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you so thank you so much for being here guys we'll see you next time with some other css video until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you